I was 11 years old and I wanted a guitar. My parents said that they were gonna give me one for Christmas or whatever. So they got me this electric guitar, but they got me no amp. So I was like, I didn't know what to do. I, I was, uh, I can't hear it. I don't know what's going on. So I was like, oh, I'll just get an acoustic. So I went to the pawn shop and swapped it out and then got this like blue acoustic guitar and then started learning. Then I had an uncle from Mexico that came out and taught me a few chords. He taught me, uh, do, re, mi. But yeah, I remember just falling asleep playing those chords and my parents would come in my room and like take the guitar off of me. I just fell in love with it and it was kind of the first thing I loved that like wasn't a human. Cause I useless when you're stuck in my mind. I've been foolish, think of you all the time. Play some music like a heart in the sky. I'm a loser, it's in that crowd. I've been watching you and I've been trying to decide If I could ever remind you of what you really like And I know it's not possible but I wish you would try Cause it keeps on playing back in my head a little time Cause I used to say when you suck in my mind After like working at McDonald's and I saved up money to get an interface and a bass and a guitar. I was just making stuff in my room all the time. It took me so long to start liking it. It took me like a year to start liking my music. But I was still putting it out even though it sucked. So I would just keep putting music out, putting it on SoundCloud, just upload the next day. I make it up the next day, make it up the next day. I made a song called You Got Me. The next day I put it out and it was like got the most plays I ever gotten on SoundCloud and then my friend called me he was like you gotta put it on Spotify like an Apple Music and all that stuff I didn't have any money to put it up it was like $30 um, annually like an annual fee and so he gave me $30 and he sent it to me and I still have this cash app screenshot where it says investing in your future this is $30, $30. and I uploaded it and it got like playlisted right away I don't know nobody I didn't know anybody I didn't have a manager or nothing I didn't know anybody in the music industry or was I even aware that there was playlists or anything like that. Um, but it went on there, I got like 50,000 overnight or something like that. Uh, the next day I go to work and then he calls me again. He's like, yo, do it again, do it again. And I'm like, he's like, you got another one? And I was like, yeah, I got another one. And it was that prom song, I put out that and same thing, I got playlisted. And he's like, do it again, do it again. So I did it again, the same thing happened. And I was like, hey, somebody likes me over at Spotify or something. But, but um, yeah, then after that, um, that's how I found my manager and we just started touring and yeah.
Well, yeah, dancing is like kind of the way playing guitar is. It's just something that I do. It's like in my nature. I can't like not do it. I just gotta move. When I hear music, I gotta move. And I can't help it if I'm at a party with all my friends or at an event and there's music that's really loud, like, it's just no choice. It's just like, oh, sh oh man, dang it, like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I got to, it, it's not even, it's just for myself, it just feels good to, like, move to music. Um, and that's why I base it off of, like, writing songs and making music is literally off of feeling. So when I feel a certain way, I, I gotta move, and if, it, if I'm making a song or something and it's playing and it's making me move, that's how I know it's like, you know, it's hitting. I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna keep going. Kamikaze, that song, yeah, it just, it just kind of came, like, I started writing about, you know, the past, and I haven't done that in a while. It's kind of, I always kind of write about recent moments. Man, I feel like everyone's avoiding this shit from their past. When you're in your 20s, everything starts to surface, and then you're just like, whoa, what the, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, now I feel like I'm more aware of, like, what I'm writing and, like, how I'm delivering it, and the things I can talk about and describe and and all that stuff and I feel like before it was just very kind of surface level. My last name starts with a V. I was always in the back of the class. No one was ever trying to pick on me when I raised my hand. No one really, I, I always had a lot to say so when I said something it didn't really matter. Um, so now it's like, damn, people are listening. It's just crazy. It feels really good um, to know that, you know, I have people that actually want to hear my music and stuff. 
it's just, it's really hard, you know, warming. Like, I don't know, they just feel me. Like everything that I say, I see them put it in their caption, like on Instagram, I'm like, yup, yup, same shit, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, we're all human at the end of the day, like, you know, no matter what, you just, everyone's going through something. I feel like with writing, it's all about, you know, where you place it, the way you say it, the tone you're saying it in, um, the cadence, where in the song you say it, where, where, you, where in the chord progression you choose to come in or come out. It's all about placement and just like taste. If you, if you have a, you know, good taste, you, you probably know how to write a song. <laughs> I can't help but you been on my mind I can't help but you been on my mind See you around Cause I don't care anymore See you around Cause I don't care anymore It's not that bad My family couldn't understand why, like, I couldn't make a song when people would come to a show. Like, it didn't make sense to them. They were like, why? Why would they like your song? You know what I mean? And I, and I was like, I don't know. Like, dang, they just do. Like, you want to come to the show? You can come. Like, but it was like, at first it's very hard because, you know, your parents, you know, they, you know, my parents are immigrants. They came over and then, you know, they wanted me to go to school or whatever. And I was like, man, fuck that. But like I can't, I can't keep up. Like I was a, I was a fish trying to climb a tree in school. So I was like, man, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Uh uh, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I went for two weeks. My parents, I told, I remember telling them, I was like, yeah, like uh, I don't think, I don't think I can do that. And they were like, what are you gonna do? And I was like, I don't know. I'm just gonna make music, I guess. And they're like, okay. They didn't get it. And then they didn't get that I was like playing shows and all that stuff. And then I remember the first time they really came. It was at the Metro in Chicago. There was like 1,250 people, I think. And it was their first time like coming and they, they were like hearing about it through my aunts and uncles saying like, yo, like Omar's doing really well, yeah, yeah, whatever. They came to the show 
and they pulled up and then like my mom was like <gasps> like she had never seen that many people she was like is this your show like is someone else playing or like or like is someone else the main event yada yada and i'm like no mom like it's just me and then, and then she was like and then they started screaming like oh my oh my oh my she's just crying she told me she was just crying and crying and crying and i'm just like damn like, i remember i feel goosebumps right now talking about it but like she was just crying and then after the show she was just like didn't have words she was like what like I, i'm so sorry like i'm so sorry we've been you know like you know, not supporting you as much as we should have, yada yada. Now they do, they call me, they're like, Were you working? Were you in the studio? I'm like, Yeah, this is Poppy, I'm in the studio. And then, like, now they're like, Okay, we're gonna leave you alone so you can make music, yada yada. I, I still feel like I haven't figured out how to make music the way I like. I don't know. There's so much to learn, I guess. I don't know nothing. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I know a little something, but uh, it's always a chase. Making music is a chase, and it's like, you're chasing that satisfaction for you, no one else. If I were, if no one was listening, I'd be playing for a bar for no inside a bar for nobody. You know what I mean? So I would still be doing the same shit. Yeah.